Portugal could turn off the tap on Russian gas tomorrow. Here's a summary of the article. The Minister of Foreign Affairs has assured that Portugal could turn off the tap on Russian gas or oil tomorrow when the European Union tries to negotiate an energy embargo against Russia, believing in an agreement in the next weeks. The Portugal News provides free, independent, honest and unbiased news in print, online, on social media and in emailed newsletters. We support local communities, foreign residents and visitors of all nationalities to Portugal with news and views on all things Portuguese. The CDOS source also said that the driver was Portugal Week Concerts postponed in Toronto. The Alliance of Portuguese Clubs and Associations of Ontario, which organizes the Toronto Portugal Week, has postponed the concerts scheduled for June, due to uncertainties in a provincial subsidy. The government has approved the Iberian mechanism to limit the price of gas for by TPN, Lusa, in News, Portugal 13 May 2022, 1502. All regions of mainland Portugal will continue, at least until Thursday, with Have Very, by TPN, Lusa, in News, Portugal 13 May 2022, 10.03. This post received a score of 10,000, with an upvote ratio of 97%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. The more relevant part of the quote is this. I love how people keep thinking Hungary wants Russian gas and oil BC were besties with Putin we are not, and Orban has stated that many times. The reason is BC Hungarian infrastructure is not, compatible, with other kinds of gas and oil imports. The pipes are not built to be importing any kind BC so far there was no need for thinking of changing that and Hungary has been relying on Russia for so long it'd take insane amounts of money to change that. I get that there is no way to do that in time for the current situation to make a difference. That being said it's time to start dedicating a chunk of the national budget to overhauling those systems. Really you day there was no reason before, there is no reason unless you consider that this entire time you've had a single point of failure for something apparently every citizen in your country relies on to live. You were always one political statement or natural disaster from having no gas. Dot how would that ever be okay in any circumstance? You need redundancy, high availability, backup and disaster recovery plans. Greater than you need redundancy, high availability, backup and disaster recovery plans. Automatic failover to other sources of energy. Texas disagrees. Cries in Texan. Too cold, no power. Believe it not too hot also no power. Undercook overcook straight to blackout. Failure to provide infrastructure? Believe it or not, no jail. The Minister of Foreign Affairs has assured that Portugal could turn off the tap on Russian gas or oil tomorrow when the European Union, EU, tries to negotiate an energy embargo against Russia, believing in an agreement in the next weeks. My cousin has been hooked on the gas for a while. He swears he can stop tomorrow, if he wanted also. It isn't pretty to see someone hooked on that stuff and kicking it isn't always as easy as it sounds. In this case it's not about quitting. More about switching to a different dealer and for only 10% of your supply. Till that Nigeria produced half of Portugal's natural gas. Neat. It would be more but they need to just pay some legal fees and the extra would be freed up in no time, my dear friend. Portugal uses a small amount of Russian gas and none of it via pipeline, so this is not really news. The big problem is Germany, followed by the Eastern European countries. The biggest problem are the landlocked Eastern European countries, Czech Republic, Slovakia and Hungary. They cannot simply switch to shipped LNG and oil. They are dependent on pipelines. Slovakia has it the worst as their only oil refinery is dependent on a particular type of heavy oil that only Russia produces. Repurposing the technology to a lighter crude will require between four to six years of work apparently. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.